Animal free research and testing should be our present and our future and the nations and regions of the United Kingdom should be incentivised to be at the forefront of developing modern non-animal technologies. Currently, six animals are used in research and testing every minute of every day in this country. That's the science of the past and it's failing not only animals but people's health, our economy and the environment. Testing on animals. I don't think as human beings we have a right to test on okay. animals. It's cruel and and there's no reason for it really. There isn't. I don't I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but I've I have read in the past that there are other ways. I've been a scientist working to replace animal testing for over 30 years now. I'm the founder and CEO of Accelerate, which is a completely animal-free testing lab based in Cheshire. I think I realised as a young scientist that there was always going to be a better way, not just um, ethically but scientifically too, and that got my curiosity going about what other types of techniques could be used to test product safety in particular. Um, so I've spent my whole career in that area ever since and become specialised in human cell culture models um, to replace the outdated animal tests. Science and innovation is a form of truth and, and provided we get that right, we can do amazing things. We can change the world for the better. Uh, and why I want to see less uh, animal cruelty and testing is because I think it's a mark of a civilised society where you remove unnecessary cruelty. Around the UK there's a network of SMEs who are involved in related areas to animal free testing and we interact with each other a lot, we support each other a lot, um, so it's not just about accelerate, there is definitely a momentum building and a level of interest increasing in this field of science. As a centre, we're trying to move away from mammal link testing. The way that we try to promote here is we identify those specific surrogate genes first, and then we could just replace animal testing by those specific like microarray assays or even gene assays. So we could um, have informative um, signals rather than directly exposing the animals without any specific purpose. I take my hat off to all those organisations that are using animal-free techniques. That is really important and a great lead for the rest of the world and our country. Uh, do I think that it's something that makes a big difference locally? Yes, I do, because I think the people are ahead of politicians and university leaders and bosses of industry. Uh, I think they understand the importance of removing cruelty wherever you possibly can, uh, and I back that 100%. This is a research-based university, obviously based on STEM and science and things. And if there's just more investing in money and time and effort and just, like you said, education mm. into researching for other methods, that's just the only route really. It's not a possibility, it's the only route. I think that laboratories like Accelerate are playing a key role in the local economies in the areas where they're based. Um, the UK needs to come up and become a global superpower in terms of our science and also we are known for our animal welfare approaches and I think putting that together and taking an international lead on animal free science is such a critical part of our economic strategy. I mean, we're actually employing here more than 20 people as an SME in our local area in Cheshire in the northwest. We take a number of graduates from the local universities and train them up in our, our scientific programmes. We've got a number of other commercial and support staff coming through. We're giving skilled jobs to young people and supporting um, the levelling up across the country. So I think this area of science is one that really merits a lot of uh, investment and attention from government.
I think it's a great opportunity to, to create jobs uh, and create a better quality of life for us all, but provided it's done in a way that is civilised. If we could move away from using animals in that capacity though, I would be 100% behind it. I think animal free science is the future. I think that we will look back in decades to come and wonder why we ever tested on animals. As you've heard, there's some great work happening in projects and companies around the country, but their funding remains a tiny proportion of the money that continues to be poured into animal experiments. It's time to level this up. This is too important to be left to the market alone. Human-specific methods of investigation into treatments and cures like diseases for Parkinson's, cutting-edge organ-on-a-chip technology, these brilliant developments are at a critical point, but they must be nurtured to fruition.